The Korodu local government area led by its executive chairman Wasiu Adishino recently convened a meeting of key stakeholders at the council secretariat. The meeting's objective was to foster collaboration and drive sustainable development in the area. In his opening remarks, Adishino emphasized the importance of stakeholder engagement in the governance process. He noted that the active participation of community leaders non-governmental organizations and government agencies was crucial for addressing pressing issues and ensuring effective service delivery. I stand before you today at this remarkable budget consultative forum where we cover or where we convert to deliberate and shape the aspirations of the local government for 2025. This event is remarkable because it will be the last budget consultative forum for my third administration in the Korodi. Though my tenure as your executive chairman is winding up, I am deeply committed to leaving a legacy of an advanced governance model that reflects transparency, accountability, and our community's collective vision. This forum, this forum exemplifies our dedication to inclusive growth and shared prosperity for the Korodu local government. Participants discussed their concerns and shared their perspectives and now to improve the key areas such as security and crime prevention, infrastructure development, environmental sanitation, education and health care, and economic development and job creation. Going back to 2022, eh, I've seen a lot of improvement that he has been doing. But this year, 2024, is, uh, is uh, excellent because he has been touching where I did not even expect him to touch. In as he has been doing what I do not expect him to do. As regards to the past chairman, I can give, I can rate him 90% because he has been performing more than the previous chairman of this local government. As he has termed it a budget on consolidation, uh, I think he has to try and work much more than what he has done and also try to finish what he has uh, started. Uh, we expect him to be able to touch more on people so that, you know, considering the situation of the country, he can be seen to have touched the lives of the indigents and the people within his local government so that life can be much, much better. Our expectation is that you see, the chairman has told us what he has done for the year 2023, 2024, and this year, we want him to consolidate on what he has, what he has told us now. Uh, an aspect I want him to be more, put in more effort is that I would like the chairman to engage the community very well. You see, whatever project you want to give to any, 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 any part of the local government, it has always been to a particular community or not. Engaging the community will enable him to know the first need of various communities. The chairman in an interview assured of his readiness to do more for the people of Ikorudu LGA. We are trying to work within our own uh, limits to bring out this project. We decided to at least um, develop the community. It is not what we want to make from the community, but what we actually want to put into the system that will make the system work. That is exactly what matters. From the past project, it is not as if we have more different. Because, um, like, you know, we have six local government and we receive list from the allocation. But even with that, we still work within that mega resources and provide all of these projects. So we are going to do the same thing. The meeting is a step in the right direction towards giving Ikurudu LGA a facelift. <laughs>